Man, it feels so good to be in Harlem, man. I know. It's, uh, I, f I feel at home. I feel relaxed. You know? All the historic people, man, O.C.J. C.J. Walker, County yeah. Cullen, Louis Armstrong. Check you out. You Diddy. Better... I, mean, I, yeah, I call right, him Puffy. Yeah. We, we the know him call him Puffy. I'm going to call him Puffy. I'm going to name you Clay. I'm going to call you Clay. But, man, right? you, did a, you did a new movie. Why don't we just sit down and talk about it for a Let's second? Do it. Let's, Let's do, do it. Let's do it. All right. So, Shaft, I mean, it's, it's been a part of all of our lives. Uh, I like when I say that he was like the first superhero. He was our first I Black Panther in the time. way. I yeah. say it all the time. But, I mean, how, how does this project feel, especially coming on the heels of you taking the helm from the late John Singleton now? How, I mean, how does it feel to step into that and to do this project? Yeah, I mean, we're from Gordon Parks. You just kind of, you know, you, you just have to kind of make it your own. I mean, what was... Uh, What's really cool about it is even, you know, John was a good friend of mine and, and he told me, he said, Tim, just be sure, you know, do your thing, make it your own. And, and, um, and that's kind of what I feel like we've done. We, you know, we've been able to respect where it's come from, um, what, uh, what, what it's gone on to mean to so many generations, but we've also been able to infuse it with what's, what's happening today and give it some humor. Now, Shaft came from the black exploitation era, and I, I'm not sure if this generation really understands what black exploitation is. Can yeah. you can you as a director just kind of like give them a little side notes on what that and and does this still count as black exploitation? It, wow, great question. I mean, look, if I was trying to describe it to somebody, black exploitation was just a period in which um, uh, black films, specifically made for black, um, black people by black people, um, was just kind of put out there and um, however, you know, uh, you know, however you got it made, it was made and it was put out in certain um, neighborhoods and just kind of represented a certain way we're living in kind of showed our so I think um, to a certain degree if you were to look at today's stuff and whether this one is um, I don't know I, I would probably say I'd probably say no but I can't I can't look at the fact that this is where this franchise comes from it almost started yeah. <laughs> the black exploitation movement yeah. um, if you know many would argue that it did and so I am um, I kind of look at it in this we're just kind of representing a new a new look and um but it's a great question I don't even know if I can call it that yeah, yeah. Um, it doesn't feel like that uh, but um but I can't sit here and act like maybe it's not, you know, yeah. somewhat a representation of it. I know everybody wants to talk about Jesse and Sam yeah. and, and Richard, but I mean, Regina Hall being in this. Oh, summer, she's yeah, the yeah. best, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you guys have been rocking for, what do, what do you see in her that's made her such this great actress? It's yeah. funny. I, I, Re Regina Hall to me is like, she's like Lucille Ball to me. Like, she's. She's just pure comedy, and, and, and she can give you anything. With, with other movies we've done, she's done, you know, not, I won't say dramatic, but she's done drama. She's done, she's kept the character just straight. Yeah. She's just so real and down to earth, and, and, there's, and there's not many people I think can keep up with a Sam Jackson or a Kevin Hart um, and go curse word for curse word and just go for, you know, there's a ping pong match that happens with her. Yeah. And um, I'd put her on every movie I ever make in my life if I could. And last question, would there be another Harlem Renaissance in this decision? Wow. Scene? You know what? I think there would be. I'm not sure if it would be. I'm not. I think it would probably be beyond Harlem. You know, I think yeah. um, Harlem is, which is something we kind of dealt with in the movie. Harlem has changed a certain, a certain degree as well. But what's cool is that, you know, Shaft has it, you yeah. know. Yeah. And so if there was a Harlem uh, Renaissance, another one, um, wow, it would probably be beyond, it would probably be beyond Harlem. Yeah. Well, good at always talking to you, Tim. Always watching your work. And oh, thank you, man. Keep doing your thing. We'll keep on watching. I will try, sir. All right, bro. Okay.